Hello, my lovely friends. My name is Ava, and here are the ebooks that I ended up finding last month in August. As always, we're going to be going first with our Kindle Unlimited pick. So the first book that I ended up downloading off of Kindle Unlimited is Fate Touched by Lisa Ray Roman. I read this one in August and you can watch me wrap up to know my thoughts on everything, but this is a paranormal romance that I really did enjoy. And so um, I also picked up the sequel, which is Fate Divided. I'm actually currently reading this one. And again, I'm enjoying it. They're um, interconnected standalone paranormal romances. I also downloaded Lost in the Wild by Cassie Mint. I just wanted a little novella to have on my KU for when I'm in the mood. Um, so yeah. This is a Cathy Mint little novella that I think takes place in the woods or something. Next I have I Love Beyond the Stars by Jennifer Chipman. This is a sci-fi romance but with no aliens. So I'm very intrigued. I've seen this one all over my Instagram and I very rarely pick up or see romances that are sci-fi without aliens. So call me intrigued. Then I have A Gargoyle's Delight by Naomi Lucas and Mel Braxton. I actually went book shopping with Riley from Riley Marie um, a week or two ago and we went to this bookstore where they had like a monster romance section. It was beautiful and this book was there um, but I was being very responsible and didn't get it even though it's absolutely stunning um, because I'm like okay it's on KU. I can I can I can read it first on KU because what if I don't like it? So yeah this is something about a gargoyle. I believe the heroine thinks like the gargoyle is an actual gargoyle and she like basically talks to the gargoyle statue like it's real like talking about like all of her problems and woes and everything and little does she know that the guy is actually real and is listening to all of her problems and just wants to make her life better so sounds really cute so i hope i actually do like it and the last one that i have on kindle limited is one that i will be starting later today this is held by a monster by kenzie kelly i believe the heroine is on the run from some evil like people in her town and this monster in the woods ends up saving her but then also falling in love with her so yeah looks so good i will be i'll be picking this one up later today it's on my tbr for september now we're going on to our free books and as always by the way also my kindle limited books as well as my free books will always be listed down below linked so you can click on the link and it'll take you right to the book and you can go get it. And I'll also make sure to tell you if they're free or not. So first I have My Alien Prince by Reverie Harwood. This is the first book in a Alien Fate of Mate romance series. Um, it is currently available to download for free right now. Looks like space travel is a thing now when this book takes place. So the heroine and her sister are going to go on this vacation to a friendly tropical planet with handsome alien men but then she gets woken up from stasis to find out that they have been dropped off to serve as a wombs for the dying Xavian race and so she is hosted by the Xavian prince Drex as promised he's devastatingly hunky but she's not jumping into a relationship as quickly as she jumped into that ship She's learned her lesson no matter how the sparks start to fly. Looks like it's another alien romance where like there's a lack of women. I have Bylines and Blue Lines next. This one's by Stephanie Julian. This is still available to download for free. It looks like it's a hockey romance. Blue Lines and Bylines make me think like surprise baby. Is that what this is? He is an NHL um, hockey player. I don't know if I have something to do with surprise baby. I have no idea. I might be totally wrong. It looks like she's a sports reporter and they have like a one night to more situation. So accidentally in love with my best friend's brother by Abby Grayson is next. This one is available off of Kendall Unlimited or you could purchase it for $2.99. This is a sweet enemies to lovers football rom-com. Oh, with, I think it's a clean romance. This is kisses only. Horse proximity, opposites attract, slow burn, and a happily ever after. The Lady Who Came In From The Cold by Grace Calloway is next. This is still available to download for free. I honestly just saw Grace Calloway and got it. Um, I heard that she's a very good historical romance author and this seems really sweet. It looks like it's second chance romance or something like that that takes place during Christmas time, which I'm, I'm sold for. So don't need to know anything else. I have Collided by Portia Moore, a steamy friends to lovers romance. Again, I just saw friends to lovers and got it. It's it's free. Um, it's still available to download for free, by the way. So it looks like the heroine thinks she found the one, but um, he has a wife. So the betrayal that she found left her scarred and weary of love. So she sworn off romance, but then she comes across Alex, the sizzling hot bartender who not only becomes her best friend, but her confidant and biggest supporter. And I guess they fall in love. The Catch by Jenna Miles is next. I got this for free, but it's not free anymore. It's on Kindle Unlimited or you can purchase it for $2.99. I just had to get this because look at this cover. Like, hello, this is a second chance romance and is reminiscent 
of Pride and Prejudice. So, duh. I think she's a single mom as well. So tick, 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 tick. Brutal Kiss is next by M. James. This is a dark mafia romance on the first book in the Santiago Cartel series. It's not on Candle Unlimited, but you can purchase it for $5.99. Ooh, I love the tagline for this. It says, my family's worst enemy wants my hand in marriage, but I've made up my mind to give my innocence to a man that I choose. So she, before she gets married off to a man that she hates, she's gonna like give her virginity away, I guess. It doesn't say this in the summary, but I have a theory that maybe like the man she gives her virginity to is the man she's gonna marry, because that sounds like right. <laughs> Next is How to Train Your Viscount by Courtney McCaskill. This one kind of sounded like How to Train Your Dragon. So I'm like, is this gonna be like How I Train Your Dragon, but historical? <laughs> so I don't know. This one's still available to download for free. It says it's a steamy Regency rom-com and the first in a series. A light and fast paced historical romance. It's designed to make you laugh. If you're looking for a more traditional Regency, it might not be for you. Don't let the lack of man chest on the cover fool you. The love scenes are red hot. Our hero's mother wishes to regretfully forewarn the reader that her son utters several shocking obscenities during the course of the novel. <laughs> That sounds so cute. Darkness Awakened by Stephanie Rowe. This is still available to download for free. This one's about Grace who will risk everything to save her kidnapped sister, including putting her life in the sinfully capable hands of an immortal warrior whose ravaging kisses and intense passion propel her ruthlessly toward a fateful destiny she cannot afford to believe in. That's a very short summary, but man, that hooked me. Next is Promises of Heaven by Onyx Runa. This is a dark mafia romance and the first book in the Promises and Vows duet. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited or you could purchase it for $6.99. Ooh, another tagline here that says, this is a love story born from the ashes of despair, a tale where darkness holds the promise of enchanting Hades like Haven. So is this like a Hades and Persephone retelling? Cause I am for that. Come Back For Me by Corinne Michaels is next. I just saw Corinne Michaels name and got it cause I've heard great things about her. Um, this is a second chance small town romance in the first book in a series. And this one is available off of Kindle Unlimited. It looks like this is a um, like One Night Stand to More romance because a few years ago they had a one night stand eight years ago. He comes back to the town where they we're at and looks like she has an eight-year-old daughter. I do like those romances because I don't think she could like get in touch with him. So like, how could he know that he had a kid? So it's not like secret baby because she wasn't purposefully keeping it a secret. So next I have Alien Mercenary's Heart by Mina Carter. This is the first book in a alien romance series. And it looks like he's like kind of like cybernetic, which I love. This one is still available to download for free. Next is Cruel Lord by Ivy Thorne. This is a reverse dark reverse bully Romeo. I don't know what, rever what reverse bully means. I have no idea. Um, but this still is available to download for free. And it says that there are no heroes in this series, only deliciously devious villains. We'll get much darker before the dawn. This book is for those who like their men cruel and damaged, their romance dark and questionable, and their emotions toyed with until the very end. Sign me up. Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> First Comes Love by Lydia Michaels is next. First book in a series. It's still available to download for free. It looks like this is a neighbor's romance where there is a single mom. I only needed to know that. Yeah, I love neighbor's romances. I love single mom rom romances. So I am for that. And lastly, I have Lusting for the Duke's Kiss by Megan Sloan. This is still available to download for free. It's a historical Regency romance. Oh, it looks like this is another romance where these two characters get married and the husband like deserts her seconds after their wedding. And I think the hero is like this Duke who like left her and he has to like grovel to win her back and save their marriage. So I love those kinds of romances. Anyways, there you have it. Those are the eBooks that I ended up finding on Kindle Unlimited and for free last month in August. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. And if you don't feel like commenting anything else, you can leave me. What emoji should we do? Let's do a ring, a ring emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.